Welcome, everybody. I'm very happy to welcome a very, very special guest, the new IBF World Bantamweight Champion, Lee Haskins. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Excellent, mate. Well, first of all, massive congratulations on an emphatic performance against Raya Suki Awasa. Um, and, you, and you finally clinch in a world title, which after being avoided for so long, you must be yeah. really happy. You must be you must be over the moon. Um, I mean, to be to be fair, I was over the moon. You know, it was um, it was it was a great night for me, great night for Bristol, and it was you know it's just a moment I've been waiting for for a hell of a long time. So yeah, it was just a, it was just great all in all. Excellent, mate. And um, I hear you've just been on a a little holiday to Magaluf. Um, are you? Are you <laughs> how was how was that? Did you have a good time? Yeah. That was that was another great experience. Yeah, um, it was just a, it was a stag, so um, obviously that was planned. It was it was great. That I got the win. You know, it wouldn't have been so good going over there. I would have lost, <laughs> but um, yeah, I had a great time over there. Lovely weather as well. Wicked, and you've come back in one piece, which is yeah, good. Just about <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, mate. Well, talking about let's talk about Bristol and and yeah. boxing there. That. It seems to me at the moment that this is your... Well, Chris told me, I, I spoke to Chris about a month ago, and he said, this is one of the main things for you, getting getting boxing going in Bristol. Like, you're a very proud Bristolian. You know, yeah. what, it, is this more important than going to Vegas and stuff like that, getting world title fights um, in Bristol? You know, I think all, all boxers would like to uh, uh, find a fight in Vegas, something like that, you know, which I would love. But, yeah, at the moment for me, it's just, you know, it's just like I want to pick up the boxing in Bristol, you know, I want to get, you know, all the kids interested. I want, I want, I want Bristol to be known to have, a, you know, an, an, another great fighter from here. And, and I want the sport, the sport of Bristol to, you know, to, to be fantastic, I mean. Yeah, excellent. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful city. It's a, it really is. It's yeah, it is a great city. You know, great people. And, you know, they, they really get behind us down here. And, um, you know, I've had, I've had so much so much respect from everybody after winning the fight you know and it, it, I like to give back as well yeah excellent mate well you I, I used to live in Bristol and you're you're a bit of a celebrity in the area <laughs> yeah that's what, that's, that's what they say yeah but I don't I don't see that I just see like a bunch of my, all, my, all my friends in there just... <laughs> yeah but it's funny <laughs> I was um, I was talking to Chris Jenkins yesterday doing an interview with him and we were talking right. about yourself winning the world title and he told me that the since uh, yours, your your win, he said the the gym's just got a hell of a lot busier. There's a lot more kids coming in from the street, coming in to learn how to box. That must be that must be great. It is great, yeah. You know, it's great to see that. You know, um, me and not me and the team have, have I've done that. You know, and all the kids come down, and I'm, I, I still bring my belt down almost every day because you have so many different kids, and they want to pitch yours and stuff. So you know, it's, it's nice to it's nice to show them that I'm doing well and show them kind of my background and show them that they can do the same kind of thing, you know, and, and they, they love it. Yeah, cool. So you like, even when you're not training full on, you just go down there and hang out with the kids? Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, a, like, I'm, like I'm, I'm sitting down there today, I'm not even training, I'm just down there. It's just somewhere where, you know, it's just, I, just, I just like to be in the gym. Yeah, cool. And just, um, I've, got, I've got friends down there, so I just come down, come down, chill, chill out with them and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, I'm always in the gym. Wicked, wicked, man. Well, um, so let's talk about. Obviously, you've had a little bit of time to reflect on on your huge achievement. Obviously, everyone's talking about Randy Caballero at the moment. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're a little bit unsure on how well he's doing. I don't know if you know more than me. From what I know, he's... I haven't got. I haven't got clue in myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So it's a little bit of a sad situation. But you know, what well, what what do you want to do? Because you know that 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 fight's. Look, it's not going to be anytime soon, is it? Like, is there anyone? No. Is there anyone? You know, in a perfect world, who would who would you want to fight? Who who do you think would be a great fight stylistically as well? Um, yeah, do you know what people keep asking me that? You know, I'm not really too sure. Oh, you know, I'd love to fight Jamie McDonald. That would be a great uh, a great British fight. You know, keeps yeah, us, keeps fight. us both in in, in 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 the UK. So that'd be you know that'd be that'd be an amazing fight, and uh, that's a fight that I would really like. Um, but apart from that, um, you know, I just want to I just want the fighting fights. I want big fights. You know, and um, fights that's going to, you know, um, benefit me. Yeah. Okay, man. Cool. Cool. Well, so talking about you, like, back in your career, like, you haven't been the luckiest. And, no, I've been, I've been the unluckiest. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree <laughs> with that. Um, like, you've, uh, like, you know, thinking, you know, let, let's go back, you know, I don't want to dwell on defeats you've had, but let's go back to the, 
the Jamoy fight. You know what? The, yeah. was over three years, nearly three years ago now. Like that yeah. must feel like a million years away now, because you know. I, it I, does. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what's the? Has there ever been a time when you you thought I'm I'm gonna? You know, I can't. I'm, I've been trying hard enough. I might pack this in. Is that is that ever entered your mind at all? <clears throat> um, yeah, kind of. But like, like with, with my only defeats is is only become because you know sometimes I've just been an an absolute dip, and you know just not trained properly and, and mess around. Like with the Jamoy fight, it was it was just it was stupid bro for stupid money. Uh, next minute, I'm going over there to defend my belt, you know. And then I was arguing with Chris. So I wasn't turning up to the gym sometimes, and really? it was just one of them ones, you know. So and then I still took the fights went over there and. Honestly, you know, you don't have yeah. <laughs> just okay. not performed right, you know. Yeah, well, but, um, you just seen how I done the first three rounds, you know, I smashed it. And, um, you know, you, to be fair, I, I think it would be an e- easy opponent for me to beat now. Now I'm, you know, back in training, doing, doing, my, doing, doing my best. Yeah, okay, man. Well, so, you know, that, to me, that kind of looks like the turning point in your career almost. Yeah, you know, that, I think that was, that was a big step for me. And after that fight, you know, it was either will I come back or am I just going to do things properly? And, you know, I decided to do things properly and then, you know, I've just been doing brilliant since. Yeah, well, yeah, you've you, you yeah. done amazing, mate. The, the, the finish against the Wasser as well, unbelievable. Yeah. It was it was brilliant to watch. And it's really cool. Yeah, it's crazy as well. It's really cool you're, on, um, you're on national TV as well. This is like second yeah, third yeah. time in a row. Uh, yeah, it is, and everybody gets to see it. So everybody gets to, um, you know, support me, and it, it, it is, it's, it's nice on my end. And it's good to see that everything I've done in training. So we worked a lot on strength, and I hit very hard for the weight anyway. And I worked even more on on my strength for this fight, and it showed, you know, in one in the first. This guy's a very, this guy was a very good fighter, and then first round, and nearly you know, knocked him out. You know, he's there, and I seen that in the first round, which maybe made me think, all right, well. I keep putting some heavy shots on him. You know, so it kept on, you know, it could have been a bad thing or a good thing, but, you know, I, I chose to do it. Yeah, yeah, well, it was, it was a great shot, and I think the follow-up as well, that was really nice, just the way you put it together. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought that was wicked, mate. Um, so when I, I did, after the after the fight, you did say you were going to have a little break, you know, you, it, you know, yeah. obviously you've been you've been really active. Um, when I have, we, yeah. When can we expect to see you back next? Is there a bit of a time frame? Um, well, there, there are talking about dates in, in October. Okay, not too <laughs> far away then. Yeah, it's nothing sealed yet, but um, that's what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, like I said, I just want to enjoy a bit of the summer with my kids, obviously, because um, they break up from school soon. I want to do a few things and have a little holiday and chill. I'm always going to be in training regardless, but, um, you know, I just want to take it easy a little bit and enjoy a bit of time with the kids. Good stuff, mate. Well, you definitely deserve it. So, yeah, you know... Um, I know. I know. Some people um, say, you know, um, your age. You're like you're 31. There were people saying, "Oh, it's too late for him now." Um, yeah, previously, so you look like you've got better um, with age, in my opinion. Yeah, you, you, you see that in a lot of, you see that in a lot of people, not just in boxing, in in, in, in general life. Yeah. A lot of people get better with with age, and I think, you know, I think it's science shows that 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 was, that's, I think that's an old way of thinking. You know, when you think, "Oh, if he's 31." And, you kill all day, just, just, just you know, I never felt better in my life. I've never trained harder when I was younger. I never did as much as I do now, you know, and I do it easier than easier now. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just think is, yeah, you know, I think, well, he, if we're looking to get in our, you know, late 30s, maybe 40s, obviously kind of start saying that. But, you know, I think 30s is just, a few, you're, you're as young as you feel, kind of thing, you know? Yeah, definitely. I, don't, I agree. Well, I'm only a year younger than you, and I think, yeah, I was an idiot when I was younger, so, and I'm not that much younger <laughs> now. So, yeah, um, that's, that's right, yeah. Yeah, we all evolve, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And with experience, I think you, you learn out of a lot, and you're, you're a better guy for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd agree, mate. Excellent. Well, um, look, lastly, mate, let's talk about, um, uh, I spoke to Chris about, um, obviously, the gym moved. How how was Pardon? that for you? Uh, the, you? The gym moved in Bristol from St Paul's to... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How did um? How was all that for you? That must have been a bit strange after having trained. No, I was at I was I was at the other gym my whole or since I was fourteen, thirteen years old, yeah. and um, yeah, we're going to move kind of like around the corner, which is a nice cleaner and is a much nicer gym because everybody from the other gym is at this gym. It feels kind of the same gym, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So it's not too bad, you know. And we feel we got a. It smells a bit better in there and, you know, cleaner <laughs> and fresher. <laughs> well, brilliant. I hope so. 
I hope so. Well, um, well, brilliant, mate. Well, I'd just like to thank you very much for coming on, mate. It's been a real, real pleasure. No, thanks for ringing. I appreciate it a lot. Excellent, mate. Well, um, you enjoy the rest of the summer. Um, yep. I wish you all the best, and I, I can't wait to see you back okay. in Ringley. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day. You too, champ. Take care. 